So you've got yourself in a situation where you have this camera, you have one battery, and the battery is maybe like 30% and you have an interview to record. Can you imagine that kind of situation? Well, let's talk about some of the options and a practical solution that can help you, you know, get things good. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Mr. Play Color right here. So on this channel, I share with you tips and tricks that will help you improve better your game in photography and also videography. If you would like to enjoy more of this content, kindly subscribe to this channel. If you're new here, that's it. Yeah, but let's get straight into what I want to share today. So um, I happen to own uh, this a little bit of a camera here. This is the EOS R8. It's a really lovely camera, I have to be honest. But yeah, it has just one problem. This battery, it has a tiny battery. This is the LPE17 battery from Canon. Uh, and for those of you who have encountered this battery before, uh, you will see it in also other smaller Canon bodies, uh, the Rebel series and also yeah, the smaller mirrorless cameras. So again, the situation where you, you're running out of battery and you know you, you probably don't have a charger on you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I want to present to you guys a solution. And this is it, a power bank. So the beauty with these cameras is they have been made able to take power straight from a power bank and there's two options you can either charge your um your camera battery using this power bank or you can actually power up your camera using the power bank so it means the camera will be picking its juice or its power straight from the power bank but then it's not that easy because you would probably think you just have to get um, a, any power bank and then a USB cable and you plug in straight and the job is done. But there's actually more to that and it's a little bit complicated. So that's why I've made this video. I want to explain these things to you guys. So the thing is, uh, there's a certain capacity that you need uh, to be able to power up. Uh, this camera or even charge the battery. Uh, I'll just give a quick example in uh, this power bank that I have right here does not have enough juice to power up the camera and it's not just about the, the capacity of the power bank. In this situation, I, I, I own this power bank which is 20,000 milliamps. Yeah. Uh, milliamp hours. That means if I have if I have a phone of five thousand milliamp amps, I'll be able to charge it like four times. Uh, but you see, that's not enough. If I need to charge this uh, the battery in this camera or even power up this camera, I need a certain wattage. Now these power banks have wattage, or they have watts. They, there's what they call watts. Yeah, leave alone the, the full capacity of the battery, but I'm talking about how much power does it push out? Does it output as it's charging? So, for example, this one is about 10 watts. This power bank is about 10 watts and 10 watts is not really enough. So I'll just do a quick experiment to show you guys. Um, so when I plug this into my camera, it's supposed to show a green light right here, but there's no green light. That means it's not really doing anything. It's not powering up the camera. So then you would wonder, okay, what do you need? You need about 20 watts um, for you to be able to actually uh, charge the battery inside. But if you even want to power this camera off a power bank, then that power bank should be maybe 45 watts and more. 
Okay? So that's why I have another solution for you. And trust me, you're going to love this. Hey. I hope you guys can see this really, really well. So this is the uh, 45 watt PD power adapter. PD means power delivery. Basically, this adapter can charge a laptop. Yeah, uh, laptops which are PD rated. Yeah, this is a PD rated charger. Uh, I know that this seems like odd to some of you guys because you would think any type C or any power uh, adapter should work to, you know, plug into. But yeah, it's got to have this capacity, 45 watts. 45 watts you need even more for certain devices but uh, in this particular situation this camera uh, can be fired up with these 45 watts so yeah i have this charger here with me and let's try it and see what it will do so i'll just uh, get it and plug it here in the in the socket all right and then i'm gonna put it into the the camera here i hope you guys can see and then i'll turn on the switch so let's see what happens oh well i forgot to put in the battery And then we plug this into the camera, just like that. And then we turn on the switch. So let's see what happens. Do you see that green light over there? Yeah, this green light. That means that the battery inside the camera is charging. But then what happens if I turn on this camera, then it stops charging yeah but then th this cable is powering the camera straight it's like on direct current yeah and then you will notice the icon uh, i don't know if you guys can see it but the icon of the of the battery here will gray out and that that will be your signal that it is actually on direct power so this can come um, as something really, really useful and advantageous. If you're in a situation, let's say you're recording an interview for about an hour nonstop. This battery, if you're shooting like 4K, for example, you may not actually get the, the, the full hour from it. It might drain anytime soon. So to be on the safe side, you can actually carry this plug along with you and it will help you. This charger, yeah? You just need to carry this. Uh, it's actually a phone charger, to be honest, from Samsung. But yeah, it will do the job. So when I turn off the camera, it will begin charging. It will turn green. Yeah. When I turn off the camera. So how it works, when you turn off the camera, it automatically begins charging. When you turn on the camera, then it will switch to direct power. It cannot do both. You cannot charge and also um, uh, use the camera at the same time or when the camera is on. So you have to, uh, for it to charge, you switch off the camera and it will turn green, yeah, uh, to show that it's actually charging. I think when it's full, it will just turn off. That's just the indication. But yeah, um, so this is definitely going to save your life. Uh, this cost, this cable cost me, um, well, most vendors will sell it to you at 200,000, but I got myself a good deal. I bought it for 160,000. Uh, it's, it's going to save your life, yeah? In another situation, you just need a power bank that again is 45 watts or even more. So, yeah, I think you guys get the idea. 45 watts or more will be able to power up 
Yo. So if you have a power bank that is not 45 watts or more, that is maybe 20 watts, it will be able to charge the battery in the camera, but it won't be able to power the camera. I hope that is clear. You'll be able to charge if you have a power bank worth 20 watts. Yeah. Um, again, I'm not talking about full capacity of um, uh, 2000, uh, 20,000 milliamps or 10,000 or whichever, because there's so many power banks on the market with even 50,000 milliamp hours. But then they won't be able to power this. You need something with power delivery. The keyword is PD, power delivery. Yeah. So I don't want to make this video longer than it already is. Um, if you have any questions on this device, um, on this plug, please let me know. Uh, I'll be, I'll try to explain maybe better. Uh, but yeah, you can find this in your legit phone outlet. Uh, they are sold there. This is uh, Samsung. Again, Samsung 45 watt PD power adapter. Yeah, it's a type C to type C. Yeah, it uses a type C to type C. But yeah, so the beauty with this cable, it's quite strong. It's a five amp. It can be able to, uh, yeah, do five amps. Anyway, I want to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next. Bye.